Hi, Doki Pen here, and this is going to be the last video on how to set up modules in C++ with Unreal Engine. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll try and load the um, the project, the Unreal project. So I just come to the come to the launcher, and the, the project we created was this module create. So we'll open that, or we could have just clicked on the U project. Um, file D doesn't really matter, but we should notice that this is going to open up and it's going to have no clue about our module. Here we go. So if we come to the window and we come to developer tools, uh, we should be able to come down to this um, modules uh, button and it will be able to open up all the modules that exist in the engine at the moment and we can see that the engine is a module there's a documentation module there's a graph editor module but what we won't see is the module that we created which was called a uh, collection module so we have a collection manager but that's not that's not the one we created um, so we need a way to tell the, the project that our module exists and for that it should be loaded and to do that, we need to edit our new project file. So this is just a text file, which can be um, edited just like any other. So what we'll need to do is after, this is what's known as a um, JSON file. So it follows the JSON syntax if you're familiar with it. So all we need to do is add a comma after this um, last line. And we're going to be adding this uh, new modules uh, word in quotes. And then we need to add a semicolon, and uh, and this is where um, the syntax will differ from up here because we need to introduce uh, some not curly brackets but square brackets, and within these square brackets is where we introduce um, some curly brackets. So we'll need to introduce these curly brackets for every module that we want to run or that we want to load when the editor starts. Uh, so within each curly bracket section, we need to give uh, the name of the module and a semicolon, and we're going to give that name as what we are uh, names the module, and then a comma, and then we need to say that the type of the module is. Um, is a runtime module, and there are different um, types of modules that you can that you can specify here. But uh, this is just uh, again just to get up and running. And the uh, loading phase uh, we're just going to keep that as in quotation marks. That hopefully should be all we need. So we can save that. And then what we're going to do is just open that. And fingers crossed, the editor is going to open and it's going to know that it should load that module when it opens. So our editor has opened. And to see if we were successful, in loading that module, we can come to the developer tools, come to the module window, and if we scroll down, we can now see that the collection module has been loaded uh, successfully. So we also have the option to unload it, reload it, uh, or recompile it if we change some code, because we can actually compile this uh, from the from the editor now, um, just like any other code project. So we now have the options for refresh Visual Studio, uh, open Visual Studio, uh, just like we would if we had opened, uh, if we had started a C++ project from scratch. Uh, and if you hadn't actually built the um, the code from Visual Studio, like we did in the previous video, when you open this project after specifying it in the U project file, then it would actually ask you if you if it should build it for you, and it would build it behind the scenes without you having to open Visual Studio. 
So um, so that was uh, successful. And uh, as the last kind of thing to show you is that I want to show you how we can have multiple modules. Um, we're just going to go back to our folder structure. If I can find my window, and we're going to go into our source um, source folder. And when we first set up the structure, I said that the um, every module has its own own folder. So what we can do is I'm actually just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to name this module something else. I'm going to name it something completely different. I'm not even going to have the word module in there. Let's just call it, um, uh, I don't know, weapon manager. You might have a module that does a specific thing and this is just a random name that I chose just to show you that, show you that it can be called anything. Um, and then we're going to rename these uh, C++ files the same name as the module and I'll just copy and paste that as well so again this is all just uh, renaming everything so that it corresponds to the same um, structure that we had last time and we need to edit the um, the build file and this is going to be called um, weapon manager and these are the dependencies yep so we can just save that now in the header file we only had the uh, one line which was the, to include the header and in the implementation file um, we need to edit that and we will need to change the uh, line of code here because in every uh, Unreal project there has to be a, one primary module there can only be one and um, if we have multiple modules then one of them is going to be primary and all the rest have to be not primary so we need to use a different macro in that case so instead of writing implement primary game module we're just going to take out this primary and we're just going to have implement game module and we shall change the name in this uh, macro function to be weapon manager and the other difference with this macro is that it only has two arguments so we don't specify this um, third string we just have the yeah, the two arguments, and also we need to change that the uh, the header that we're including. So we can close them, and now that we've added in the code for the second module, we need to tell Unreal Build Tool to build them in these target files. So um, we'll open them, and when we first set up the what modules to build we had to fill in this uh, list of strings so all we need to do now is just add one more to this uh, list so that the build tool knows to look in those folders so we have uh, um, two two strings in that list now and we need to do the same for the, uh, the editor editor target so we'll do that we'll Weapon Manager and save that. We'll close now. Again, the, the Unreal doesn't know about these um, modules yet. We could actually uh, right-click and regenerate the the Visual Studio project files and uh, build from there. What we could also do is um, edit the the new project file to include our extra module and then when we run the editor it will actually build it for us so that just shows you the uh, other way of um, of working so we add a comma and we're just going to add beneath this just an extra curly braces section where we're going to declare the name of our 
module. And we're going to keep these options the same, just uh, add it as a second module. We'll save this and close. And I'm just going to make sure that my editor is, is, is closed. So, yep, yeah, we're going to open up this project. And hopefully, Unreal is going to tell us that, um, here we go, it says that the following modules are missing or built with a different engine version. Well, we haven't built them yet, so um, what it's doing is it's asking us, would we like to build them now? So we can click yes, and as long as I haven't got any syntax errors, then it should uh, invoke Unreal Build Tool behind the scenes and build our code for us and load it into the engine. So that looks like it built successfully. I didn't get any errors or any um, pop-ups. And I can check what happened if it built successfully by coming down to the modules. So we have our previous collection module, which went fine. And let's go and see if our other module's there. Yep, we have our weapon manager module. Um, so that's um, the basics of having multiple modules in the project. And now you could go and add as many kind of um, C++ files to your modules as you see fit and um, once I actually start getting into some um, more serious C++ programming then I'd probably look into how to customize my modules build um, you know with some more control and look into the documentation a bit more but uh, until then I hope that was helpful for you and um, yeah, if you like these videos, please subscribe, and I hope to make more. Thanks for watching. Bye.